In the last video you saw that that we are getting this error after running this process. Now in this video I will show you how to fix this issue. Now to fix this issue we have to use wait stage. Click OK. Issue is when we are running this process first it, it is launching this application and after launching it is trying to put the staff number and password but at that time this application was not loaded. So as this application not loaded so it is unable to type these details here so it is throwing an error. So in this scenario we have to use wait stage so that we can tell blue prism to wait for some time. Now let me you know close that reset this and as you know that this launch is working fine we are just getting issue in the this login part and this is action stage so right click on this and click on view action in object studio because we cannot use wait stage in the process we have to use that wait stage in the object studio because we are going to interact with the application so just drag and drop this wait stage and you can see here wait stage comes with a two part wait and timeout. There are two types of wait conditional wait second unconditional wait. It means one in which we can write the condition and based on the condition it will wait there. Second that is unconditional it means without end condition we can use that as a static. Wait stage enables business objects to pause and wait for an application to load or a condition to be met before moving to next stage. Wait stage is used to pause and wait for an application to load when an application or element does not load due to the network issue or application not responding. You will have seen sometime what happens we open you know we will launch any application and that time due to the you know internet issue or network issue or application not responding issue it takes some time right. So, in this type of scenario we can use wait stage it can only be used in the object studio not in the process studio as I, I have already told you two types of wait without condition it means unconditional one throttle wait and second unconditional wait when we add unconditional or you can say static wait at the beginning of the every action page is called throttle wait. Throttle wait is used to give some time to system before interacting with an application to avoid any error. Basically this is not required in our application. If you face a scenario where you have to first give some time to your boat like 2 second, 3 second and then you want to launch that application or that you know browser. So, you can use that throttle wait there. Wait stage without any condition is called unconditional wait and it will pause your workflow till the given time. If you will say 5 minutes, so your boat will always wait for 5 minutes in that scenario. Now, conditional wait or you can say dynamic wait. Wait stage with condition is conditional wait or you can say dynamic wait. It means if you are applying any condition to the wait stage that is called conditional wait or you can say dynamic wait. It is used to check whether a certain application or element exists before moving to next step. In the wait condition we can apply multiple conditions there and if condition are not met it goes to the timeout. And the best practice to use conditional wait is always use conditional wait stage at start of every action that interact with an application and requires some time to complete the action. Sometimes you have seen that you know if we we'll take this example of our login button after putting the value in the staff number and password once we we'll click on login it will go to the next window. So, in that type of scenario we can use this conditional because after that another window will be 
opened so we have to always check that that window is opened or not or if you are taking launch so after launching this application you can also see you can also check that login window is exist or not so let me show you practically all these things how to apply throttle weight static weight and dynamic weight so in this example if we are launching this application if we launch from here we said this launch this so it is taking some time it is initializing updating the profile and then it is opening right so here we can do two things here either we can apply unconditional weight or we can apply conditional weight you can also apply throttle not in the launch because here we, we don't require that you know but in the login what i can do once this launch is executed here i can take that one i can delete this and i can take this one double click on that and i can change the name here like throttle this is throttle weight and throttle timeout right link with this now if we we'll calculate the time here if we we'll launch this one and you see after executing this one it is taking around you know 5 second to open that one right so what we can do in the login double click on this throttle weight and in the time out here we have by default 5 second here you can apply this also let's change reset this and save this now go to the process studio click on refresh now reset this and run this and now you see here it will launch that and then blue prism will wait for 5 second and then it will enter the data right so here you can see this process has been successfully completed because we added there 5 seconds of throttle you know time you can also put that wait stage here after launching so that will also resolve your issue you can see here so this is unconditional wait and we are using this wait at the beginning of this one this you know action page so this is called throttle here you can see we are passing 5 second but what will happen if application didn't load due to you know heavy uses of this application or you know that application not responding then that time again you will be getting error what you can do instead of do doing that one you can take this as a you can take this as a conditional wait wait for login window i'm writing here and now in this scenario to write the condition we have to first find out the the element so this is the element that we we have here this is the login one do you remember last time i if i highlight this it is showing this is the login window let me uh, put here the name correct name login window apply this so this is the login window i already have this one so i will take the same login window here in the element and i will take the condition check exist so if login window exist and the time out is 5 second if exist then link this node with this one right now in this scenario what what will happen let me first do like this so in this scenario what will happen after launching this application it will come and check that this login window is exist or not if not it will wait for 5 second and once 
if that is loaded it will go to the next stage if within 5 second if your application didn't load then it will go to the go to the timeout and after that again it will go to the time type staff number and password but again if it didn't load in within 5 second then there will be again one error so in this scenario what we can do so if you think that it will take 5 second i will suggest always use here 30 second there is no issue here if your application loaded and this element found then this will go to the next stage if no if the, still this is not loaded then it will wait for 30 second so there is no problem with that always overestimate not underestimate so here put here 30 second click ok close this save this conditional weight applied go to the process studio reset that and run this one so once this is loaded it will directly type and then it will close that one 